Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Connor and you're watching Houdini This. Today I have, a, I have a tutorial on how to make a custom YouTube thumbnail for your videos. This really only applies to if you're a partner. But if you aren't a partner, it's just something to keep in mind. So, I'm going to be doing this on Adobe Photoshop. You can use something like GIMP or another program. I don't know that many programs. This is just a very, very simple way of doing it, but very effective in the end product. So you're going to open up your Photoshop um, file, new. You want to make the width 1280 and the height 720. This is very important because this is your background and it's going to fit your actual thumbnail size. Now first of all, you're going to want to convert the background to a smart object, then rasterize. Then, because we're going to put a gradient on it, so that makes it editable. So, I don't know, let's just go for that color. And we need a darker one, so we'll go all the way down to there. And then we're going to want to go on to this option, gradient. Set it to that one. And we're going to want to go to radial, set the scale all the way up, and you're going to want to go on filter, brush strokes, and go on spatter. Press OK on that because this will get rid of all your gradient lines that you've created from that. Go, go on OK. Now, if you want to have it sort of look glossy, you want to create a new layer, go on your elliptical marquee tool drag it all the way across there uh, to around about mm, yeah there you want to have your thing set to this one which is intersect you want to go on to gradient turn it to white you want to go white to transparent hold this down hold shift to get it nice and straight and release you can do this as many times as you like all depends on how strong you want the end product to look so you will go select deselect and then you've got your nice sort of a gloss make it nice and glossy you can uh, merge that down to that layer yeah you want to apply that it's a little gone nice one then you want to put text because you don't want to just have a blank background you can put an image but I prefer text go on text uh, I'm going to change my color for the text to a yellow to make it stand out. Uh, Baybass as a font is a really nice font. I'll put the description to where you can download. And font size, whatever you want, or depends how much font you're going to have. I'm just going to have one bit saying tutorial. Uh, you can center that uh, by control holding control clicking on the thumbnail then you wanna you wanna oh no damn you can go so you're gonna keep on that one all right you just click all them till you're happy mm. select deselect you wanna stay on that one go on FX stroke and have it, I don't know, round about four because it's nice black, it stands out nice. Put drop shadow on it, opacity, you can put that up to ooh, 90, distance, a uh, little up, spread, round about 20, maybe 30, size up. But for the size, if you, the more size you're going to have, the lower you want your opacity because otherwise, if you have too much size, it's just going to look too overpowering you can go on you can go on bevel emboss but I wouldn't you want to keep it nice and if you want to keep that nice and flat you can have a gradient overlay if you want to mess around you can make it look metallic you can have a pattern overlay so that's your basic one and you can have I don't know you can have that or that have a nice 
you know that that'd be quite nice just scale it down a lot Ooh, that hurts your eyes if you look at that too much turn opacity down you've got a nice gray no, got a nice pattern on it and go okay then you want to well you can really finish it there but you can put an image on it so you can put I don't know open recent you can have this I don't know a YouTube logo which has the background pre-cut out just drag that over to there and you can minimize that actually no I'm gonna put that back up there it belongs up there I'm gonna have this then or you can even have a you can even have to say you have a logo for your channel you can have that there I'm gonna put transform onto that and scale that all the way down put that in the corner then press enter to confirm my alterations move that there so the distance is vaguely equal apart and yeah you could do that if you're having to say I don't know a part like unknown yeah let's do that let's have another part so we'll put to say you're gonna have these for each and every single one of a video series like a let's play you can have I don't know let's have nope don't want that don't want to change that so we'll put new text scroll that take that down to around 150 um, and we can say oh, have that and we can have part actually no, we want that white that's the thing we want it white because this is your part number we want it white part I really oh, no I don't I don't like that font um just play around the fonts play around the gradients um This one's quite nice. I got caps lock on, haven't I? No? Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. Then you can do the same, but you don't really want to spend all that time on it, so you can just go FX, put a stroke on it, and go OK. And I don't know why, but a lot of the trends with new YouTube videos is they got you know the old style play button so if you want to have that just create a new layer right on the top and you can I don't know have a nice play button like I actually created this one quite proud of it and just drag that over onto the top is that on there that's not on there why isn't that working Oh, I don't know why that's not working. Huh? Save changes. No. What's happening? I guess I, I probably must have saved that wrong. So yeah, you can put a um a play button without a background on to make it just look a little bit more retro here yeah, I mean I've also done thumbnails for Daniel you know the part of Houdini this that turned out quite nice so you can have an image as your background just make sure it's 1280 by 720 it's here see it's got like a nice image of like a minecraft block because this was to do with minecraft and it looked it turned out reasonably well 
and to be honest you can finish there you can go file save as save as whatever you can save as jpeg save as whatever and quality maximum you can just mess it mess around with these settings I usually keep it as the basic and yeah there we go that is a basic thumbnail for a YouTube video thanks for watching see you later